Good morning, good morning, and happy weekend to you. It is Friday here in Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Good morning, Eduardo. Good morning, Mr. Church. Good evening to all you guys all over the world. You're welcome to our Town Hall show. One more Friday, great news, position, like all the good things that you guys was waiting for. Stay with us. Subscribe on our channel. Be part of what we're doing today. We have Maritime Challenge one more time. It will be an incredible video. Yeah. I'm very excited to present this video. Yeah, guys. So if you're new here, don't forget, click on the button, subscribe on our channel. Be part of our family. We have over 6,000 people that is already joined us and lots of people going back to the ship. 6,500. Going back to the ship? Oh, more than that, going yeah. back to the ship. I'm it's talking about subscribers. Subscribers. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, well, again, welcome. Good morning. But before we get started this morning, we just want to say a special mention out there. Uh, you may not be aware, but there was a building collapse yesterday in Miami. And uh, it was an apartment building, right? Uh, it's called Surfside. Is that correct? Surfside. Yeah, right. Miami Beach. Yeah, and very close to Miami Beach. Yeah, there's uh, about 50 people missing so far. Uh, I just read early this morning they pulled out a young child. Uh, which was fine, and they did find another person, but officially there is one who has passed away, but uh, there's still quite a few missing as they go through the rubble there, so uh, special prayers going out to them. Also, uh, for our own staff, Mr. Rizwan, uh, who we understand has uh, been hospitalized in Jakarta, and also Tara. Tara is a young lady who works for us. Uh, she handles a lot of the Apollo accounts. Uh, her baby has gone to ICU, so, you know, our prayers and blessings and, and everything goes out to them. So please keep these people in your prayers as uh, we do as well. All right, let's move along with headline news. You know, as we talk today, this show, of course, is uh, a lot today. We're going to talk about positions that are available, but there's a still a lot of happening in the industry. One of the big things that have happened is the state of Florida has won a legal battle against the U.S. government. And the CDC is uh, now required to lift the conditional sale order. There will be more information coming on that. And people says, well, what does that mean? What does it mean? Is everything open and clear? Of course not. The CDC still has jurisdiction. If a ship goes out, uh, sells out of America, and there happens to be a threat to the United States for diseases or whatever, of course, the CDC can step in and stop the ship from coming back into port. But uh, the reason for the lawsuit, it was that... Uh, the state of Florida and the governor, Governor DeSantos, believed that the U.S. government was harshly, was very harsh on the cruise industry by imposing all of these rules and regulations. And those have been lifted. But now on July 2nd, according to the court order, the CDC has to come back with less restrictive measures. And if you've been following the CDC lately, you know, they have come out with a lot of new things to help the cruise lines. And, and you know, the cruise industry is going back to uh, uh, sailing again out of the U.S. So things are moving forward. Yeah, the most important that we, we want is better. Like, it's a lot of movement. You know, as you guys probably know, lots of crew are coming back on board, not only to Carnival, Royal, but like all the cruise line around the world, which is a big step, right? Uh, I think right now we will, we're not going to come here and say, oh, they go back everything again. You have to go back to your country. Oh, I don't no. think they're going to happen. No. And this is just things happening behind the scenes. But the most important for us, we want to know the outcome, wh what's going to be good for us. And the good news, guys, is because we are recruiting. You know, we look for new hires. As you guys probably know, some people, you know, they got tired. They retired. They don't want right. to go back to the ship anymore. Some people, they want to try the excuse in another cruise line. They want to try to, to do something different and which open opportunities for new hires. So if you're watching us here and if you want to pursue your career in hospitality, you already have some experience or you want to initiate your career. So you're really welcome to go to our website, cti-usa.com and you're going to have the opportunity to apply for any position, of course, before you apply, make sure you have the, the right skill, the right uh, requirements to apply. 
And we're going to be really happy, you know, receiving your, your resume, your video resume. As you guys probably know, we have the CTI Go video. We have over uh, 500 people already applied really? in, in the last 30 days. So with something new. And we only we'll, opened that two weeks yeah, ago, right? Yeah, so yeah. it's <laughs> lots of people, right? Which is good. And guys, we are, we are lots of things happen, a lot of progressing and you guys have to be part of what we do you guys are so important to us as i mentioned the most important is the outcome and the outcome is very positive for us you know we we've been uh, redeveloping our website and you're going to see changes we've talked about this for some time now and if you look at our website right you'll you'll see that there are positions available there uh actually there's over i believe now 600 positions available uh you can see that the cruise lines that we're working with you click it says find a job and uh, you know we'll continually go uh updated as we get positions and again this is one of the reasons that we go to this show today the first thing we're going to talk about is culinary positions yeah culinary is my favorite i believe is your favorite as well <laughs> why because every day you have to at least uh, breakfast lunch and dinner oh, i'm telling you I'm so telling time you. to time you have the opportunity to go to a restaurant you're going to order your favorite food it might be a Mexican food, like I've been doing for <laughs> for the last three or four months, <laughs> uh, international food, European, Asian. So any type of cuisine, that's what we are looking for, all the position, and we're going to show you guys a video here, right? Yes, yes. And, and keep in mind, you know, that when we when we hire, right, we're not we're hiring from an international audience. Of course, if you work on a ship, you know very well that the mm-hmm. international audience is, is – uh, is what a cruise ship's all about. As you go on the ship, there are all types of restaurants. There's Mexican, there's Brazilian, there's Italian, yeah. you know, there's Spanish, there's uh, Asian restaurants. There are so many restaurants that are that are there that uh, uh, it's just like unlimited. It's like going around the world in one place. And yeah, of usually, course, they need great cooks, right? Yeah, usually what the cruise line try to do is create a variety of options, right? Like different type of cuisine. So... No matter which what type of passengers goes to that cruise, they're gonna you know enjoy themselves, even eating their own food like for the for their own culture, but also learning and understanding uh, different flavors, for different dishes for different cuisine. So this is why this variety is so important. Actually, I never I never in in the United States, in I live in Miami and I don't see much people. The American people fell in love for the Brazilian cuisine, but they don't know. <laughs> Go to really South Beach. Well. No, no, we have we have some few. We have few uh, Brazilian restaurants there, but you don't see like, for example, Mexican food. It's oh, like it's, it's number one yes, here. Like yes, everywhere yes, you yes. go, people want burritos, people want quesadillas, people want uh, tortillas, and all that kind of things. People just chips and salsa, my favorite. People is diving into <laughs> that culture. People love that that cuisine. Right, you know, right. and soon if they're gonna might be like. And oh, it was like Thai, like we Chinese. Yeah. Uh, we are looking for Mexican chefs as well because Absolutely. I can guarantee you when you go on board you want to look for that dish. That's it. That's it. Uh, but Brazilian, I don't, I don't see much people looking for. Oh. I wonder why. Brazilian yeah, is good. Food. I don't know. Maybe because you have a lot of rice and beans, right? Yeah. No. No. But uh, if you go to Brazil, you're gonna see we have a different type of, you know. Cuisines. Uh, you know, I've been to country. Brazil. I thought it was yeah. great. Because if you go to São Paulo, you can find all of them, but most you're going to find international food, which is uh, Western food, everybody knows. But if you start to go like really south or really north or like northwest, you're going to find a very specific dish that was made on that location. I think we have a video for culinary coming up here. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's go to the video. Let's go.
those positions, executive chef, chef de cuisine, chef de party, sous chef, pastry chef, bakers, uh, butchers, commas, cooks, assistant cooks, galley stewards. If uh, you work in the kitchen, then we're looking for it. And people will say, you know, there's a lot of people home getting ready to go back. And that is true. But guess what? There are so many new ships coming. And the way recruiting works, just so you know, we work in advance, right? We don't say, okay, we need these positions and you've got to go tomorrow. Naturally, there's processing, right. there's applying, there's visas, there's medicals, all these kind of things. We have to prepare for that onslaught, and trust me, it will come. And we said earlier that, you know, uh, due to some polls, some polls tell us that 30% of the crew are not going back. And that's a huge gap. So, again, if even if you're a crew member or you want to be a crew member, right, the place to go, of course, is the CTI webpage. And uh, you got something else to say about culinary? I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's it's important to know also that even for the beginners is a is a huge opportunity. I know that many people when they start their career, of course they start as a uh, cook helper or assistant cook, but some people they start as a galley steward as well. And even if they want to pursue their career in a food and beverage, become a waiter or any other position regarding the food and beverage, they also can decide fell in love to work in the kitchen cleaning dish, dishes all the day all day long they might say you know what i want to learn more about it you know like that environment and then end up pursuing the career on a culinary and a culinary career guys it's amazing it's brilliant you know and people they have 40 50 years old they still so perform creative. So and, creative. And, and usually yeah. they become like a wine as older they get you <laughs> the know, better they the get the better yes. they get because they try to innovate be very creative bring new dishes so you you, you, if I would, if I was someone to recommend which career you you would, you know, supposed to start right now, and if you don't have any choice, I would go to culinary. culinary. There's culinary. always a need. It's like a you nurse know. and a doctor. Mm -hmm. They're always going to need nurses and doctors, and we'll always need. But books. of course, right? You have to love what you do. You of have course, to enjoy. of course, of course. You know, because uh, if you don't have a passion for what you do, you can start doing well because you might have energy in the beginning, but along the way, you're not going to perform. You're not going to get there. And of course, as you start to, you know, line, you start to get better position, better position. You, you see that your career is giving you a, a, a feeling of a reward about everything that you do. But if you don't have a passion, you might not be a demi chef, you might not be a CDP, you might not be a, a sous chef because to achieve those levels, you must have something that oh, comes from within that's and it. work hard and learn and study. So, it, so it, it's not only, okay, I'm going to be a culinary and then tomorrow you'll become a chef. So it doesn't work this way. But this is a, is a brilliant career, guys. And you know, if you go to our webpage under the jobs tab, mm -hmm. right, you will, if you click that, you will see just so many jobs that are available at the top of the uh, uh, page itself the the menu bar at the top you'll see that uh, jobs is the second tab and once you click that tab there'll be a list of jobs that will come up and there's just there's actually hundreds hundreds of them now culinary is a huge huge uh, need for the cruise industry and also for the resort industry maybe you know you work in a resort you want to go to a cruise ship maybe you work in a cruise ship you want to go to a resort you know, there's uh, so many options for people. So, again, go to the web page, have a look under the Jobs tab, or you can also use the search menu and type in what you're looking for. You say, oh, I want to be a garmage, type in garmage. You know, I want to be a hotel manager, type in a hotel manager. All the positions are there. And then, a little bit later, we're going to talk about how you can apply. We're going to talk about Go Video and other ways that you can actually get into our system, and then we'll have someone contact you. Are you guys there? Indonesia, Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam. So in Europe, South Europe, America. Well, we, we always mention initially uh, the countries that we have office because it's easy for us to bring the people on board. You know, as you guys probably know, there is lots of documentation that you have. we have to put together in order to send you guys legally on board. Mm -hmm. In Indonesia, Myanmar, Thailand, uh, Malaysia, Vietnam, those countries, we work, we have office on those countries. And be, because we have office on those countries, we can send you to the ship really quick. Week. But for people from Europe, people from South uh, South America, people from all over the world, you guys also can apply. Why? Because we are working on a new system that also gonna support you guys uh, looking for new local agents to legally also be able to send you guys on board. 
Yeah, and there's some countries that do not require agencies, right? Like, for example, the U.S. doesn't require an agency. Many countries in Europe do not require agencies. You know, it's, it's just uh, open recruiting. And so that's right. why we invite everybody to come along and join us. Yeah. I know because many times you guys gonna watching us here talking a lot about Indonesia, about Thailand, about other countries because those countries we have office on it. For example, right now we start to prepare a lot of people for Holland America. Are they recruiting at this moment? No. But we are preparing the people because we know that in one month, two months, they're going to send to us a requisition and we're going to look for cooks, we're going to look for food and beverage, all the positions. So if you're from Thailand also, feel welcome to apply. You know, we also have Carnival there. Right. We also have Virgin there. So we, be, and right now, because the uh, everything is taking through online, online interviews, we can, we can present people from anywhere. Absolutely. Uh, you can present people from Absolutely. Myanmar, people from everywhere. So you guys go to our website and search the position that fit with your uh, job experience. It's not like, oh, I want to apply for this position, but you don't have experience. Make sure you have the right experience and you're really welcome to apply through us. You know, some great news. This was just announced yesterday that Carnival Cruise Line will get two more ships by 2023. And, you know, over the past pandemic, we know that uh, some ships have been uh, scrapped, basically, put out to bed, put to rest, uh, gone to the graveyard, however we want to put that. But Carnival announced yesterday that they will be adding two new ships to the fleet. And those ships, another XL class ship, one of those was scheduled for AIDA, but they're going to refit it and make it a Carnival ship. And one of those was the Costa Mag Magnifica right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's going to be refitted and brought into the Carnival fleet. So Carnival is back to expansion. So those out there who work for Carnival or want to work for Carnival, more jobs on the way. And if you are, again, we say this, if you are registered, uh, first of all, if you go to our website and register with us, or if you go to our YouTube page, uh, every video that comes out, everything new that you subscribe, that's how you get notified and you want to be the first notified when these positions become available and yeah, when i hear that uh, renovation from carnival it's also for you guys that's already carnival crew members it's opportunity for you you're gonna have opportunity to sooner be promoted right right as carnival have a new ships they start to give opportunities for people that are already there already understand the carnival values and understand the carnival standards and then also bringing new hires so it's opportunity for everybody but mostly for you guys that been working hard for a while and you're waiting for your opportunity to get promoted so continue work hard continue show your value because when things this happen guys it's always good for you to step up on one more level in your in your journey you know also i want to say a shout out to all of those who came to the we did a big big video meeting mm -hmm. uh, we were on teams and we had 300 people on the meeting there was a lot of people there what's happening we've got a uh, actually carnival is chartering a jet not a jet an airplane mm -hmm. uh, out of bali that will be leaving on the 29th and you know we wanted to make sure everybody was aware and and now of course it's really full uh the the offices were were being contacted and bombarded and we, we have to say again to the guys right please don't bombard the offices everything's still social distancing they're only allowed to have so many but the uh the flight will be full and uh, everybody's going into a hotel for quarantine, the, that kind of thing. But again, keeping in touch is the most important thing. And it's amazing. Some of the questions that, that I got during the interview was things that, quite honestly, you should know already, right? You know, uh, this is why we have a big, big YouTube page. All of the videos are there. So go and watch those. Subscribe to that YouTube page. It's important because there, as we get the information, just as we do this show every Friday, and we know that there's always breaking news, and that's what we want to do. Now, speaking of breaking news, by November 30th, Carnival will have, the Carnival Corporation will have 42 ships running. Now, Carnival has 90-plus ships, right? But 42 ships will be up and running. So, again, guys, imagine how many crew that is, how many new crew that's going to be. You know, everything is changing a la minute, as we call it in the industry. And we're going to have Regency with the same. Virgin's going to be the same. Virgin has the new Valiant Lady. Uh, Regency's bringing on new ships. NCL's bringing on new ships. So the more in touch you are, the more in know you are, the more that you contact, whether it's our office or if you're in a different country or you have a different agency, contact them as well. You really need to be prepared to go. For sure. So this uh, pandemic has proven to all of us, including you guys, that uh, has 
take ownership about your career, take ownership about yourself is extremely important. And I'm going to explain you guys what. I used to play soccer professionally for many years. And one thing that I always ha carry in my, my handbag, it's my cleats with my accessories. Why? Because I can't go knock a door for another team and then say, hey, do you have a cleats for me? Or do you have accessories for me so I can I can do my trial or can work here with you guys so you guys can see my myself performing? No. Because you guys are seafarers, you always have to worry about your documentation. Your documentation is, is, is your key. If you don't have a key, you can't open the door. So I know that some cruise line, they, they help you guys, they pay for you guys, some, but you have to help yourself. You're not going to go anywhere without your paperwork. If you don't have your paperwork, you're not going to go anywhere. So at this time, we've been preaching for the whole year. Guys, get your documentation ready. The embassy is going to shut down somewhere. Yeah. Some, so get your documentation ready. And many people say, oh, sir, sir. I understand that some people maybe they weren't bored and then when they came back the uh, the embassy was down or something like that but it takes action from you uh, you have to do your part the office is contacting everybody this meeting that we had uh, through uh, teams is just to uh, alert everybody about what's going to happen right now you see Carnival is, is, is getting a big airplane with more than 300 people to bring them because opportunity guys it doesn't sell in one month this is going to happen it just happened in one week in one meeting everything can change and can change for your side but if you're not ready you're not going to take this opportunity so keep in mind from now on learn this lesson from now on when you go back to on board and when you finish your contract eight months from now Report to the office, you know, get your document done. Always be professional. Be professional is not only perform your duty really well, but also take care about your documentation because this is the only key that's going to keep yourself going from place to place and be able to go back on board. You know, when we had the meeting, and it's funny, and uh, the Indonesian guys will especially know this word. It's called jam karet, which means rubber time. Right now, if you work on a ship, there is no rubber time. If the dining room opens at, you know, six o'clock and five o'clock, you're not there. You'll get a warning right there. There is very strict time. And and as we started the meeting, I believe we started at uh, 9 p.m. our time. Then people come at 9, 9, 15, 9, 20, some coming even at 9, 30. This tells right? a lot. This it, tells it, a lot. It tells, uh, you know, on a ship, it's not acceptable. And it was funny. We were laughing about it on the meeting that, that when, once people get back to the ship. So, and it doesn't matter if it's on the ship or, you know, you have a meeting with the offices. There's so many times that, that uh, the offices said to me, well, I called them and they didn't show up. And then they believe, oh, they'll show up tomorrow, whatever. That's, that's not the way things work anymore. Before, when everything was normal, you know, there was a lot of scheduling going on. You might be able to change your schedule. Now, when a cruise line calls you, if you're not there, you're out. And they may not, depending on the line of people, you may not get in when you want to. You may have to wait till the second, third, fourth, fifth round. So, again, time is very important. Yeah, uh, today, you know, and today I look myself and I say today it's not that difficult to succeed because most people, they just don't care. They just, they just take life as life it is. Like, uh, okay, whatever people tell me, if they call me, I answer. If they don't call me, I wait until the cruise line contact me. So this cannot be your mindset. You have to be professional every time you know you have to report to your office, be professional with your office and also be professional with the cruise line that you are working with. Never uh, allow like life uh, take you and then say, oh, no, now the, we, know, we cannot renovate the documentation because the embassy is closed. It's your fault. Your fault. When you check your passport, when you check your SIMS book, you know when it's going to expire. And you can start to prepare yourself way before, one year before. One year you can start to prepare yourself. Oh, yeah. You're never yeah. going to wait until the last minute yeah. to renew, right? You may not get the yeah. visa in one year because that, that's something that happens. And, of course, the PCR test 72 hours before. But you want to make sure you have everything else ready but to go. But you can line up your documentation. I can have all my oh, documentation. Absolutely. I, I came to the United States six years ago, and I was through visa, visa, then green card. And then green card expired. Uh, letter, uh, extension letter it was about to expire. I had to prepare myself so I don't be out of status here. 
So if I want to go out of the country, I know how long I, I can stay out of country. So everything I have to do in advance because they're not going to call me and say, hey, Mr. Eduardo, I check here of uh, 328 million people in America that your document is going to expire. Can you show up in the embassy? No, they're <laughs> not going to call me, right? right so exactly. I have to sta stand up and do my own. So you be responsible. You, you know, it's help. your career, guys. Yeah. And as much as you respect your career, take care of your career, you have families. Uh, and it doesn't matter what position you are. A lot of people, even if they're not married or they are married, they have children, maybe they don't. They have husbands, wives, grandmothers, fathers, whatever. You know, there's still people we're responsible to. Very rarely, even if you are a single person and you go, you're still responsible to somebody. Someone brought you to this earth, right? So respect that and, and take care of yourself. You know, make sure that you get there on time. Yeah, no, if, That's what uh, all we can say about that, right? If you, To be honest with you, uh, you, the office should never be in contact with you. You should be contact them in advance and schedule yourself one, two, three months before. And those yeah. who do, congratulations yeah. to you guys. Those are the guys yeah. who are jumping on that plane. Of and course. as you see in our shows, we have showed many people going back. These are people who have stepped up and said, you know what, I want to go back. Right. And, and I also get this, you know, sometimes from, from the crew lines, we, the, the cruise lines that we work with, they'll, we'll get an email saying, oh, the office never contacted me. But Don't the wait office, for the office you to have contact. to contact the office. You know, there yeah, are hundreds and hundreds, and the offices are open till sometimes midnight. You know, I'll, I'll talk to them. I'll be over mm -hmm. here noon, and they'll be calling me, Mr. Bar, we got this going on. So they're, they're working, so just do your part, right? You know, there was a big uh, a summit held at the Port of Miami from the FCAA, and you may wonder, what is the FCAA? It is the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association, and there were some bigwigs there, and we'd like to thank Mr. Bill Panoff, who uh, provided this information for us. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Panoff, uh, to Porthole Magazine. If you always want to know what's going on in the cruise industry, you may want to subscribe to porthole.com because uh he's a man who's in the know so and and at this meeting there were so many people there you know we had mickey arison chairman of carnival we had michael bailey of course the president and ceo of caribbean at Royal caribbean international christine duffy was there tom McAlpin, just so many frank del rio lots and lots of very important people there we have a video for you to show Bill Panoff here for Cruise Control. We are here at Port Miami, Terminal J, and very excited to be at the Port Miami FCCA Return to Sail Summit. This is so exciting. This is the first time since the pandemic that all the cruise executives and all the tourist boards and the suppliers are all coming together in an open forum. We thought this is what we call family. Super exciting. The industry is back and we are back with a vengeance. I'm Bill Panoff and you are watching Cruise Control. Off editor and chief of Porthole Magazine. Thank you for bringing that to us. And what a big convention that was. You know, Miami so excited to, to once again get started. Yeah, it's uh, in, for you guys. It's always important, you know, to understand what's going on with the the big guys, the executive, the people who really run the cruise industry. Uh, to give you guys more culture, uh, talking about Bill Payne, like he owns the the Port Hall magazine. Correct. Right? So mm -hmm. if you guys can go to the website and understand about this type of business, why? Because actually, this is going to give you guys a better understanding what type of value you can also add to your customer. When you're on board and they start to ask about uh, short excursion or things that, you, you, everything is there. You guys are going to be able to, you know, to say, oh, I don't know. No, you know. So all the information, guys, is important. I know this is, can be a plus, right? This is not, not talking about documentation, not talking about, but this is something that if you really want to step up, always try to learn something else because this is always going to add for you. Education is the yeah, key, right? Yeah, it's the key. You yeah, know, look. we're, we're going to continue to talk today about more positions that are available. And we have a new system 
in our uh, on our webpage called Go Video, and we were just mm-hmm. talking about that uh, that a few moments ago. And there are so many people who are using this, and and I'm going to tell you the reason. Whether it's CTI, whether it's Carmel, whether it's Verge, anybody, people are going to start using video, right? For all of those who have been through the old style, where you know we would do pre-screening, we would set people into a, a big auditorium or a big hotel room. Uh, you know, we've done this before three four five hundred people then they would select and they would pre-select they're not going to do this anymore guys and you need to tell your friends this they're going to be looking at videos right so when you go to our website and you go to the go video page there the first two videos that you're going to see is going to tell you number one don't be afraid of it let's go ahead and do it set it up the second video will be okay this will tell you how to check your microphone to check your lighting these are real important things i've noticed some of the the videos that are coming in and i see people with these really teeny little microphones and they're holding it up here speaking right in front of their face that is not the way to do it guys take time there was one guy who was really good who is in the kitchen and you hear all these noise in the background keep in mind the go video is to present you make sure it's nice and quiet make sure the lighting is good and when you look at the camera don't look down at your computer because keep in mind you're talking to a person on the other side of that screen so you need to look forward Try and set your camera or your computer up higher where you are looking forward, looking directly into the camera. And the enthusiasm is important. Yeah, and also make sure that you're not reading what you want to say. Like just proxy before and then when you start to speak, be fluently on what you say. Don't, don't, because it's very notable that when someone is look at the camera and they are reading the answer. Right. Okay, tell me about uh, which position you apply and give me an uh, overview about your duty responsibility. And then I see the person start to talk really, really nice, really beautiful when you see the person is reading here. So I did this, uh, I yeah. did this in 1922, yeah. I did this, I did this. It doesn't, la, work. La, la. It doesn't work. And no matter how good you believe you are, it's not going to pass, right? You're going you're gonna to be rejected big first because you have to know you when you're working you do, nobody works with a paper you don't okay let me see for us i'm gonna you're not a beginner mostly when you apply for a major comp- company like virgin region oceania morella so you don't want to do this way and again do it two or three times yeah, you, you can practice you guys. don't have you easy don't, to practice yeah, practice before and then when you go talk be natural you don't your answer does not have to be a hundred percent perfect because that's how a personality takes place because when you are reading, you have no personality whatsoever. You are just reading something. But when you are talking, you are being natural. You're bringing the, the things from the uh, coming. Right? If you don't bring that, I'm sorry. It's not going to work. You know, and guys, again, like I said earlier, you know, and I was watching some of the videos yesterday. And, and again, this guy had a little bitty microphone and he's speaking into it, you know, just like this. Guys, you can do better than that. Right. Lots Don't of do interference, that. right? When yeah, you keep do in them. mind, if you were sitting in front of a an interviewer from a cruise line, would you be sitting there with your little microphone going like this? Of course you would not, right? Would the lighting be good? Make sure the lighting's good. These are things to present yourself, right? And usually, Take guys, time. Uh, the, the device, they have a really good uh, microphone. And really oh, good, yeah, yeah, the phones do yeah. have great microphones. All of them. You, you, you don't have to use microphone to go to this interview. You don't have that. You just use the device. It's going to be perfect. But also look at the lighting, right? I mean, again, look at the, for example, the videos that we do. You see how the lighting is in front of us, so there's not lighting behind us. There's, you know, these are things that, and and I know this is this is some this is daunting for some people, right? This is like overwhelming, and they didn't have to do this before, but the times have changed. Right, and we and you have to change with those times. And one of the reasons we have the Go Video platform is for you to go there and practice. Because what happens when you do the video, then we see it. And if we think it's good enough, right, then we pass it on to the client and they're going to be looking at it. And your job description, uh, please read the job description. Right? For sure. L- let me take advantage and say something here. So we're in 2021. Uh, everybody has opportunity to make money. No matter how poor you believe that you are, you're always someone even poor than you right 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 i don't know how can, can i make even lower but it is always always believe that so you have to do whatever it takes if you want to build your career as more effort you put in your career you know more successful you'll be because you start to be successful internally for us as you start to grow 
today, as Mr. Churchill was saying, resume is important. Yes, it's important, but it's not only the front line anymore. You have to put yourself in front of a camera. Pandemic already taught us that uh, one-on-one interview, personal interview, might gonna take a while to happen. So you have to perform in front of a camera. If you know that you're going for a final interview, you have to put some investment. What type of investment? Everybody have phone. And I believe it, be, it can be an iPhone or can be Android. You have a good camera. Yes, right? they do. They it's do. An, it's the camera is enough. The never the camera is never the problem, right? So let, let's make some investment here. What you have to do, pick up. One, I think one dollar is enough. You're gonna spend even less in in countries like, for example, Brazil, Indonesia. You're gonna spend even less. Go and buy uh, a light, a yes. lamp, a lamp. Right and a little tripod, right? You That's pick so up a two cables and then you make it yourself in your house and then put uh, hold with something, hold with something the lamp and put right in front of your desk. When you st- go for a, a video, mm-hmm. you turn on that lamp. It doesn't have to be professional, have like a like a, st- a studio set. It doesn't have to be that way. But that lamp gonna make sure that your face is gonna shine, right? That's Absolutely. the most important thing, right? So. No matter how poor you are, I believe that is a room in your house, right? That if you tell your brother, your sister, your mom, and say, hey, uh, in 30 minutes, I just need to be like for 10 minutes by myself in this room. Can you can you let me do here? Everybody go to a living room and they're going to allow you to be by yourself quiet in your room or somebody else's room that you're taking. And I'm putting you on the very like lower situation here. I know that sometimes when you're talking, you cannot control the outside noise, like some uh, chicken, dogs, and things <laughs> like that. But it's okay. It's fine, right? That's not a problem. But put your put your phone there. Find a pl- find something to hold your phone. If you if you can buy a tripod, guys, you can buy a tripod for two dollars, <laughs> one dollar. You can buy. Don't don't sell yourself for so too cheap. Because you apply for a position that's going to pay you $2,000 a month, $1,000 a month, $700 a month. And you're not going to be able to invest anything. So and it's on. all important how you look, guys. Right? Of course. If you come in a raggy t-shirt or this or that, keep in mind, again, if you look at all the interviews we've done in the past, when the cruise line comes and sits down, everybody, you see them in ties, you see them looking good, their hair's cut. You know, If you're going to do a video and you've got a sloppy t-shirt on and you do have chickens in the background or whatever, they're going to go click next. Next, next next right if you don't have a nice clothes go buy it right you don't have to buy a, a louis vuitton suit or money suit but go buy something that makes you look professional yeah, everybody and yeah. no matter which position we apply you can apply for the lowest position right always come dressing nice i know that some cruise line might tell you oh no you can be casual guys you can be casual but when i give you freedom i give i want to see your personality and if you don't have a good style, it's better you be professional using a suit and a tie because you know that you're not going to make a mistake. I've never seen someone reject someone because he was well-dressed, right? I have, Actually, I see the opposite. When you're not well-dressed, right. maybe they're going to say, this guy is not going to make it. So go cut your hair. And if you don't have money to cut your hair, shave it all, right? Do <laughs> These people have enough money yeah. to cut their hair, no, no, right? But, I mean, it's, it's, you because, know, but I'm also thinking, right? Listen, as much time as you invest in your career, especially if you were on the ship before you know we have a lot of people who worked on ships right you've made a lot of money of now course, what of you course. present because a lot of people don't know you right now you're this repeater but they may not know you you know you don't realize but i've been seeing like people who's beginners they are presenting themselves in terms of uh looking grooming much better than people who already uh experienced people five six ten years cruise line experience far too casual yeah right because you believe that you already got what it takes guys it's not only skills it's the whole thing together, right? Make some investment. Understand that from now on, you might have meetings with your manager. You might have meetings with people that you have to talk. You need a good camera. You need good lighting on you. And if you don't have that, go purchase. You're not going to spend more than $20. It's $20 that's going to help you get the $1,000, $2,000, $3,000. I would say for those people who are repeaters, and especially repeaters, When you perform your job, when you step out of your cabin, you're in a uniform, your hair's cut, your fingernails are clean, everything, and you stand in front of a passenger, that cruise line wants you to look a certain way. Of course. They want you to look professional. You're representing the cruise line. Now, when you're doing a go video, you're representing yourself. 
and the person sitting behind the desk is going to be looking from their desk and they're going to be looking right at the camera so look right at the camera present yourself well practice it do it over and over you know when you whatever skill you have and it doesn't matter if you're an executive chef a hotel manager a captain or a cleaner right you know your skill be confident and bring it through again please stay away from the little mics and and stop this oh well sir i'm this and my name is so and so and this is what i do people are going to go click next next and so please make sure you take a shower right <laughs> now because nobody's going to let, let this is this is a big tip it's not because someone is going to smell you because it's impossible, right? You know, you on online, but because when you take a shower, guys, you just got fresh. You feel that you're in your best. You ready to do something important. You every time when you have something important, you take a shower before, right? Take a shower, re dress well, and get in front of the camera. I can guarantee you this because even if you are tired from your work, when you come, you take a shower to do that, you're going to feel revived. Yeah, gonna, I, I think so. Again, the, know, the, the, the whole important. purpose here is just invest in yourself, right? You want to present well. It's, uh, it's few right. chips that can yeah. help you perform, you know, and I'm not talking even about the skill set, which is important as well, but I'm talking about few things that you can do that I can say, you know what, let me let me see one more question here because I'm we have nine questions. Some people, they don't even go to the second question yeah and if and i, I see they're not really good i just have to say next i'm not going to waste my time keep, but keep in mind the first gonna video is generic we just yeah. want to know some things about you for example mm -hmm. it's uh, i believe the first question is tell us about you yeah okay my name is monday i'm from bali next that's not about you we know where you're from we you know uh i'm monday you can call me joe and then, then they go to the next question guys it's not going to cut it don't don't waste your time be excited right, right? be Absolutely. positive you know, my, I like soccer. I like this. I like that. I enjoy this. You know, my job is this. So, mm -hmm. so bring out your, you know, your personality. All right. For those who are going back to the ship, and so many have already gone, and there are so many that will still be going, we have a video for you. This is news for crew. Eight important things that you need to know while you're going back on board. Take a second and watch this, guys. It's going to be... Are you a crew member who has been waiting around at home for your ship assignment now that cruising is starting again? Or maybe you've already gotten your assignment, and are getting ready to set out to sea after such a long time. But now you're questioning what life will be like back on board. What can you expect from all the new protocols and guidelines to ensure that the COVID-19 virus doesn't spread? We will be counting down the top 8 most important things to know as you begin your new life on board. Before anything though, we would like to start by saying that you should pay attention to what your company sends you as some protocols between cruise lines may differ. Also, be aware that things are always changing during these times, so make sure you are always up to date with the newest information. So, first things first, you get your assignment. Now what? Well, it's important to know the process of getting back to the ship. You'll most likely be asked to conduct a self-isolation from home for 14 days before leaving. This means staying home and only going out for necessities. Once you are within 72 hours of your departure, you will have to take a PCR test. Contact your agent to figure out scheduling for your PCR test, and so they can assist in booking your flights to get to your embarkation point. Your test should come back negative before going any further. After that, it will be time to travel to your ship. As we have mentioned, make sure you have already contacted your agent to figure out flight departure times in advance. Number 7. You've made it past these first couple of steps, great! Now on to what's next, which is traveling. When starting your journey to whichever ship you are assigned, your company will ask that you wear your mask, and maintain social distance from others as you get from point A to point B. Along with having all of your usual documents with you, such as STCW certificates, passport, medical records and other required paperwork, make sure you also have a copy of your negative PCR test with you. That negative test is super important to get on board your ship, so don't forget it. Also make sure that you have some cash with you as you travel just in case any incidents occur during your journey. Number 6. You're at the port, amazing. It's time. The ocean awaits. You can smell the salt, feel the breeze. But wait. Hold on there. There's still a few more things you have to take care of before stepping aboard. 
you will need your temperature checked and to complete a COVID-19 test. Once it is confirmed that you do not have the virus and you provide all of your required documents, it will be time to step on deck. Number 5. You've made it on the ship, how exciting! But it's time for some onboard quarantine before you can start working. After all that travel to get to your ship, you will have to go into quarantine. The length of this quarantine may vary depending on the country your ship is in or the cruise line you are working for, but expect it to be anywhere between 7 and 14 days. We recommend bringing something with you to pass the time. You could download movies or TV episodes on your smartphone or tablet before boarding, take a book, or even a sketchbook to draw in while quarantining. You may also have to complete some virtual training for your cruise line during those days. This would also be a great time to check out our YouTube channel and the many useful videos we have created for you. You could even use this time to practice and register for our Maritime Challenge, which is an online talent contest we have created for all seafarers. While we are on the subject, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be updated whenever we release new content. And if All right, welcome back, welcome back, guys. You know we're uh, we keep talking about positions, and we won't. I know a lot of people are joining us because of the positions. Now we're going to food and beverage. bartenders, servers. Uh, if you work in a restaurant, and we know that there are many, many positions in a restaurant, we need you. Apply at www.cti-ctiusa.com. You know where to go, guys. Yeah, we guys, we were talking about all the positions. We will stay here like 10 <laughs> minutes going position by position. But as you guys know, I know lots of people, they love food and beverage. They like to be very close to the guests, providing you know, that quality of service. And those are really important people walking in the front of the house. Guys, as Mr. Church was saying, go to our website and apply. You know, show your personality. For people who work on this, this uh, department, 
communication is the number oh, one. Oh, English, speak. communication. Yeah. Even it's, some ships, German, yeah. Italian, right? And if you've got a couple languages. Yeah, also if you speak different languages, yeah. also give you a big edge. And many times this is even more even more important than your knowledge. Right. You know, because knowledge you can you can learn, but language take a while, communication, personality take a while for Absolutely. you to develop that confidence. Absolutely. And usually when you work with, you know, people getting close to the guests, you you are dealing with the goal, the diamond of the you know the customer, and, That's it, it. and if you don't have that, you know, same savoir faire. Yeah, if you're an outgoing person and you don't know how to deal with different people in a different ways, because mm -hmm. ba basically that's what it is. Some Absolutely. people they really quite they don't want to talk, but some people they want that engagement, and you have to create that. And you have to be able to understand that, right? Yeah. If you go to a table and someone's like they're angry and they don't want to mm -hmm. talk, you know, it's, it's be best respectful. not to push. And, and be respectful but a lot yeah. of the, you know a lot of people are on vacation they like to joke they've got their children there yeah, you know and, play, and but playful, you guys right? know how to do it i have seen it over yeah, and over you know one thing that i have noticed here, even in in the united states in miami they everybody's like a they like the same absolutely whatever you go they say absolutely <laughs> a robot like like a robot and then if you say can you bring me water absolutely can i go home without pay absolutely because they're so used to say the same thing like a trainee. Do not be this type of right. people like a be robot. Natural. Be a person who thinks. Understand and the question carefully and then you'll give the answer. That's also for housekeeping people, right? <laughs> housekeeping, right? You know, I, I've seen a lot of the housekeeping people because what happens is the person comes to the cabin and of course they're in the cabin. You're as the housekeeping, you know, cabin stewards, they're not in there. But when the person comes out, you know, hi, Mr. Jones, how was your day? You know, you again, you've got to be able to judge that person. We've also got a lot of housekeeping positions that we need. Absolutely. those positions right i mean housekeeping cabin steward some people call them cabin host you know cruise lines have different names for yeah. different positions so cabin attendant cabin host uh you know state it's room the same steward. Thing, right? it's, it's, it's the same thing if you, you guys work as a room attendant in a five-star hotel that's same thing right as room attendant you're going to clean room you're going to clean cabin so and yeah. laundry yeah. needs lots of laundry lots of housekeeping we lots try to be more generic like when we say uh for example cabin steward because you know you can relate to be a room attendant right it's same thing can people also public area as a as a public area attendant or maybe and again going to the store. website you'll see how the cruise mm -hmm. lines list them right yeah. when you go to the job search and again i believe we're approaching like 600 positions there you you search cabin steward you search cabin host they'll right. they'll come up right all right, we're going to the Maritime Challenge. And if you haven't registered yet for the Maritime Challenge, you go to our webpage and you will see a at the top menu there, it says Maritime Challenge. And it will show you how to register. So don't be shy about that, guys. Get to the webpage and register. But who we got this week? Guys, listen, I watched this video three times. 
<laughs> and this video has four and minutes. And that's a lot for you. Yeah, this video has, has four minutes. And I want to encourage you guys to watch because this gentleman from Indonesia, he worked for Carnival. He's a bar servant at Carnival. His name is Gusti. Uh, he went to a florist using mask, which is so weird. But he did something really unique yeah. and really intelligent, really creative. I don't want to say anything more because I want to show but you guys But last week video. was from Royal Caribbean, this guy's from Carnival, This right? is from Carnival. And okay. this video really well made it. I'm, I was very, imp I am very impressed with him. So, Miss, Mr. Gusti, bar server from Carnival, I shout out to you. Let's present your video. Hello guys, my name is Gusti and I'm Carnival Cruise Line crew member. On this video, I would like to coloring the fabrics and the yarn by using natural coloring dye. As we all know that natural coloring dye are biodegradable and disposing them don't cause pollution. Let's check it out. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching and look forward for any comment and suggestion for my improvement. See you and we will back soon.
that is some talent there. That guy is going to grow up and be a yes, absolutely. He's, He's going to so be a, a who are those top designers? Gucci. Uh, they yeah. all started somewhere, right? And that's all handmade. You know, you know what's incredible, and I like this about the Maritime Challenge is because you see uh, when someone is doing something because they love to do. You know how much he care. He went then he collect the leaves and then he prepared the paint and then he you know he boil everything. He he brought the cloth. So you you see how much details he was attention to. Absolutely, and, absolutely. And this this is what guys we always mention here about uh, when you work on a ship and when you choose which career you're gonna pursue. It's always important because that's when separate you. You see in the in the very end, and he also did a really good adding. Right. right? He added the video really well, and so congratulations to you, Gusty. Uh, he well done. He said that he's still at home. He's probably going to be one of these guys that's coming right now oh, yeah? with Carnival, probably, right? Okay. You know, okay. he's from Carnival. Yeah, congratulations to him. And, and also, guys, you know, this video is really good. But if your video is not that good, don't feel bad. Yeah. Don't say, oh, my God, I can't do that. Yeah. Right? You yeah, can do anything. Yeah, yeah, you do your best, of course. But you can you can send anything into us, whether, whether you're singing or dancing or, or telling a story, whatever it may be. Grab a group of guys, right? We we have the video which we played a couple times, the Jerusalem Challenge, right? Mm -hmm. There are so many cruise lines that are doing that. Record it, send it in to us so we can get it on the air for you. You know, talking about the cruise lines opening, the Iona, which is the P&O group, which is still owned by Carnival, is just an amazing new ship. And this is also one of the new LNG ships, and she's going to be selling out of the UK. Check this video out. What an amazing ship. And again, more positions available. Hello, I'm Ollie Smith, and you know what? It's phenomenal to be back on board with P&O Cruises. This is my first time on board Iona. I am utterly blown away. You're gonna love the ship. So much space, so much intimacy. It's a world of majesty, and we're delighted to be welcoming guests back on board and to be able to give you a holiday after so long. Britannia and Iona will start sailing this summer for the series of UK coastal cruises. So dust off your suitcases, your holiday wardrobe and prepare for a wonderful time. This summer, you'll notice some changes put in place which are designed to protect the health and well-being of everyone on board as well as the destinations we visit. Our first cruises back will be for UK resident COVID-19 vaccinated guests only. Before booking, you can check on our website all the details about requirements for you and your travelling group, such as insurance and the health declaration, as well as see the latest information on our new wellbeing measures. We are, of course, always committed to the highest standards of health, safety and wellbeing for all our guests and crew, and we'll be adhering to the very latest guidance for cruising for every aspect of the holiday experience. You'll see changes from booking and boarding the ship through to disembarkation. And while some of these changes may at first seem a little different, we hope you find them reassuring and easy to adjust to. But one thing is certain, once you're on board, you can just get on with enjoying yourself and relaxing into your holiday. What will the onboard experience be like? Well, in short, everything you know and love about a holiday with P&O Cruises will be waiting for you. And if this is the first time you've sailed with us, then prepare yourself for a treat. There's so much space, so much choice, sunbathing on your balcony or on the wide open decks, watching a show, shopping, or just curling up with a book and a glass of something delicious. All the brilliant entertainment and other activities on board will be open. The shops, gym, pools and casino, and of course, you'll be able to have a ball at one of our wonderful gala evenings. Don't forget the spa. Ooh, a hot stone massage, yes please. Once on board, you can make the most of the brand new app, My Holiday. It's your very own pocket planner, ready for you to effortlessly personalize your experience from the comfort of your cabin, sunbed, or wherever. Using your device, you can manage your bookings, see your account summary, and more. My Holiday also supports our new health protocols, allowing you to pre-book and queue virtually meaning more time to enjoy yourself while we prepare your table. It's never been easier to holiday your way. If you don't have your own device and can't use my holiday, 
We do have a My Holiday desk on board to assist with bookings for dining, entertainment and the spa. You'll find details of how to contact the My Holiday desk when you're on board. Certain activities should be pre-booked and venues such as the pools may have fewer guests than usual at any given time so that we can manage numbers. Just keep an eye on the signs on board. Booking activities will all be easy to do either via your phone or with one of our onboard team. And of course, on some of the itineraries you can go ashore and explore. To begin with, these will be via an organised shore tour, but we have a whole new choice of experiences for you. All your favourite restaurants and bars will be open, and for many of our restaurants, you'll now be able to make a reservation in advance for when it suits you, or just arrive and dine as soon as the table becomes available. All restaurants will feature table service, and we may change the dining options available in some venues as part of our enhanced wellbeing measures. But rest assured, you'll have the opportunity to dress up and dine in style or relax in more casual surroundings. The choice continues to be yours. Poolside snacks, great coffee and heavenly tapas from Spanish master Jose Pizarro and incredible burgers and steaks in the Keelan Cow here on Iona. Fine dining, the very best Indian fusion in Sindhu and of course you'll be able to try out my new wine lists in the glass house. Don't miss the Greek excess white, it's like sipping a tangerine dream. So, from all of us at p Cruises, we wish you all the very warmest welcome. We cannot wait to see you on board. Here's to the summer. Cheers. ship p and cruises the iona uh my goodness a great great ship you know one of the things that we did not mention of course deck and engine and we're running out of time so again we are looking for all deck and engine positions oilers greasers wipers uh you know fitters carpenters uh i was gonna for say bricklayers but we don't need bricklayers for the next two months we have over 300 position guys 300 position available right on our website there's 450 and they're going to continue yeah. to grow yeah so, and that's to place this month, though, 350 to place, yes. right? All right. All right, guys. So, listen, we appreciate you joining us. So, we want to say, you know, as, as we, we try to present a bright picture here, we also know that COVID is not over. So, it's still important to take care of yourselves. And, and again, our, our hearts and our prayers go out to Mr. Rizwan in Jakarta, uh, Tara and her, her uh, baby who's in ICU in Indonesia also, uh, the people of Miami, and uh, all those out there who are still suffering from this pandemic, we know it's not over yet. The number one thing is to protect yourself. And in the meeting that we had the other day, we kept saying to the guys, if you're getting ready to go back to the ship, stay at home, protect yourself. Don't think it's an everyday issue because if you do that PCR test at the very last minute and you're positive, you it go back home. all your work. Now, it doesn't mean that you'll lose everything. You'll have to go home and get yeah. better. Then you can get retested at one point and go back. But don't jeopardize that. You've waited so long. It's been 14, 15 months. Mm -hmm. You know, so hello to everybody out there. Thanks for watching. Uh, you know, there's there's the great people who are always here. And the, even after the show, so many people do dial in after that. So hello to Judy and Jennifer and all of those people out there. Thanks for being part of what we do, Odie, and for doing the video. A big shout out and thank you to Natasha, who happens to be leaving us today to go continue her schooling. We will truly, truly miss her. She's been a great integral part of our show as she writes a lot of the scripts. So uh, today we're going to take her out to lunch. Everybody say hello and celebrate. All right. And again, thanks to Harold over to our left here who runs behind the scenes. Uh, without him, we couldn't do it as well. Eduardo? Yeah, that's it. And for you guys, don't forget, subscribe on our channel. Be part of what we do. And you stay safe, guys, because the opportunity is right there waiting for you. Love you guys. See you next Friday. Have a great weekend and a great week. God bless.